Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well we've been making sort of video pop-up buttons and colour changing background buttons and we had a question. Somebody was asking how do you make a button with two lines of text? Now there's various plugins you can get to do this but it's really easy to do with the Divi theme. No coding involved and creating custom buttons really couldn't be easier. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a little row here with three columns in it. I'm going to add a module. I'm going to use a text module to this. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules. Blue modules I've got there from Divi Supreme. We're not using that today, but it's an awesome addition to the Divi theme. I'm just going to use a regular Divi text module. As you can see, there it is. It's popped up with some text. And let's write what we want to write for our button. So we'll say learn more. And I'm going to use shift and enter rather than just enter. So it only goes down a half break right there. Uh, put in whatever you want to say underneath. So we've got learn more, new article, or whatever you want to say there. Top one, I'm going to bold out. That's entirely up to you. You could underline it as well if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave mine just like that. Okay. That's pretty much all I want to do there. I'm going to pop it in the middle in a minute. I can do that here. Or you can go over to design and do it in there. All right. Now let's give our button a background. There we go. Now that's fine, but I don't really want mine as wide as that. And I want it a little deeper. And I want to change that text so it's white in color. But also, when people hover on it, I want the button to change color too, like a regular button does usually. So while we're in background up here, if we hover over the dark writing where it says background there, hit the little arrow. You've got a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. For the hover, let's change it to blue, perhaps. There we go. So when the mouse is on it, it's going to be that color. When it's not, it's going to be that color. Great. Well, let's sort out the sizing and coloring of the text next. Really easy to do. Go over to our Design tab. First, I'm going to go into Text. I'm going to make it white. Obviously, you can change the size, letter spacing, text line height, etc. Here, if you want to, I'm going to leave mine just as it is. You can add a bit of text shadow if you want it to stand out on the background a bit more. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to leave mine off. Text alignment. Well, we've already done that. We've put it in the middle. Great. So all I want to do is make it a little bit deeper. And I don't want it to be as wide. I want it to be more like a regular sort of button size that we've got up here. So if we close up our text right here, we'll go down to sizing next and make it the size we want it. So width wise, I want it a lot smaller than that. Let's say 175 pixels or something. Just put in the 175, it'll put the pixels in there for you. As you can see, it's sort of shrunk down a bit more button size there. You can make it smaller if you want to. Whatever size suits you. And I want mine to be a little bit deeper than that also. And it definitely wants to be aligned in the middle of our little row right there. Remember, we've got three rows here. We've got two in the top. That's why they're not aligned under each other. If I was to change this, I'll just save that minute. And I change this row to two, they'd all be aligned under each other. There you go, as you can see. Okay, let's go back into this button now. And I want to give it a little bit more height. Let's move this over here so we can see. Design. We're going to spacing this time. I'm just going to add a bit of padding top or bottom. Let's say 10 pixels. Again, just put in the 10. It'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain. It'll do the bottom half. Great. So there's our button shaping up there. Now, if you wanted to put rounded corners or something on there, Go into border down below. If you want it slightly rounded, put a small number in, four or five pixels. Again, just put in the five, it'll put in the pix for you. 
if you've got the chain highlighted it's going to do all four sides at once we got rounded corners there if you wanted a pill shaped put a crazy high number in there like 50 and you've got a pill shape button I just want small ones on there for me personally so I'm just going to say four I think so there we go now obviously a button's got to have a link well it doesn't have to but usually a button would have a link so let's go into the content here's a link this is where you put your link where you want to take your visitors when they click on it best practice always if it's on your site leave it in the same window if you're linking off of your site open it in a new tab so your site stays open so there we go we've effectively created a custom button there really easy to do let's save and check it out save to page changes and let's exit the visual builder roll on down there's our button when we hover over it it's going to turn blue so there you go guys that's how to create a button with two lines of text really easy of course it's a text module but it's going to function and look just like a regular button so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.